What if all the nuclear bombs in the world exploded at the same time? There are currently just under 13,000 nuclear bombs in the world, and the vast majority of them are held by just two countries, the United States and its long-standing rival Russia. It is important to note that the average power of today's atomic bombs is around 100 to 200 kilotons of TNT. A bomb of this power could instantly wipe out a city of 200,000 inhabitants. In comparison, the atomic bomb dropped on the city of Hiroshima had an explosive yield of roughly 15 kilotons of TNT. More maneuverable, lighter and more powerful, the devices manufactured today are much more dangerous. A Russian missile such as the Satan II could reach London or Paris in around 10 minutes. Now imagine if all 13,000 of these bombs were gathered in one place, for example, the city of Paris. That would be the equivalent of several billion tons of TNT in the heart of the capital. But what would happen then? The explosion would generate a gigantic fireball with a radius of 25 kilometers, 10,000 times hotter than the sun. It would vaporize everything in its path. A powerful blast wave would spread over nearly 250 kilometers, and any material in that area would catch fire, reducing the city of Paris and its surroundings to ashes. Nothing would survive. The shock wave would be so strong that it would circle the Earth several times before dissipating. The explosion would also form a gigantic mushroom cloud several tens of kilometers high. Depending on the wind, radioactive fallout could spread over several hundred kilometers and form black rain laden with radioactive ash. So, you get the picture. Even if 13,000 atomic bombs were to explode, it would not mean the end of the world. The consequences on a global scale would still be very significant. The particles released into the atmosphere would form an opaque layer, preventing the sun's rays from reaching the planet's surface. The temperature would drop and the Earth would be plunged into darkness and freezing cold for several years. This phenomenon is referred to as a nuclear winter. Plants would no longer be able to photosynthesize, leading to crop failures and famine. Radioactivity would rise in many places on Earth, causing cancer and contaminating food sources. The chemical balance of the oceans would also be disrupted, killing much of the aquatic fauna. The long-term consequences of the explosion would be devastating, forcing humans to hide in tunnels or bunkers. Humanity would take a huge blow, but it is nevertheless likely to survive.